Dear students, we have discussed operating system basics in last previous two modules. So now in this module, we will discuss about software classification and will place operating system in such a classification. You know that software is a particular program that is written to solve certain problem in computer science. And there are many different types of softwares and those perform different operations. So you might have used different softwares till to date. For example, you have used an internet browser to browse the internet. This is one of the software. You have used Microsoft Word. You have used calculator. You have used Microsoft Excel are such kind of softwares. So all of such are examples of softwares which are doing some particular task. But whatever you use or you have used is basically a kind of special softwares known as application softwares. However, in computer science, there are many, many other types of softwares. So we will be discussing in the next slide. So if we want to classify a software, so that software can be classified into application software and then system software. And within system, we have utility and operating system. And then in operating system, we have user interfaces and kernel. So as I was mentioning that whatever software you have used, are basically examples of application softwares and then in system softwares some of the utilities are available and operating system is available so we will be discussing each of them uh, mainly the application and utility in this module so the application softwares are basically those softwares that consist of programs for performing tasks particular to machine utilization. So basically we have made the machine and what is our motivation as a user, why we want to utilize this machine depends upon our requirements. So for example, if there is a company that has purchased a computer, so the company's requirement is that the computer should calculate their profit, it should store their data, it should retrieve their data. So all of such things are the examples of their requirements and their machine utilization. So all of such applications which are closely related to the user needs and users are using such applications for their uh, needs and requirements are categorized in application softwares. And we have discussed that spreadsheet, database systems, desktop publishing, then accounting systems, program development softwares, games, and then the internet, browsers, etc. All are the examples of application softwares. And then there is a very important category of softwares within the system softwares is utility softwares. So these consist of software units that extend or perhaps customize the capabilities of operating system. So in fact, the user is not directly using or getting benefit from such an application or software, but it is making the core at the back end and making the infrastructure sometimes or support the application softwares to run properly. So you know that operating system is the overall in charge, but some of the things are not built in or not available within the operating system as a platform. Those are installed afterwards and th those become a strengthening point or extending the operating system so such type of softwares are known as utility. So for example, 
format a magnetic disk to copy a file from a magnetic disk to CD. So such softwares can be installed on your computer. So for example, if you purchase a DVD or CD in your computer and you want to copy a file from magnetic disk to a DVD or CD-ROM. So you need a particular software. So such kind of software will be known as software utility. So this utility is not the need of all of the users all over the world. So whoever needs such a utility will install such a utility and that utility will extend or strengthen the existing operating system for that particular kind of users. But this will not be effective affecting the other users using the computer. So then there is another activity like compress and decompress the data. So you have multiple softwares known as like WinRAR software, WinZip software. So those compress the data, decompress and they are openly available. You can download and install. So those are also basically enhancing and extending the ability and capability of operating system. But those are not very straightforwardly uh, being used by the computer, uh, by the operator or by the user. So user is basically saving his or her data using some software, some application software. And then if that data need to be compressed, so that can be done with a utility software. Then software for playing multimedia and then handling network communication. So sometimes application software and utility software are overlapping and you become uh, basically you feel a problem that whether this software should be treated or grouped under the application software or it should be grouped under the utility software. So here is our definition that you should see whether the package is part of the computer software infrastructure. So whether it is extending the job of operating system or the capabilities of operating system or it is making the infrastructure of the operating system. So that kind of software should be considered as utility software and those softwares which are directly being used by the user like we mentioned the web browser. So that web browser is not doing anything with your operating system. It is not extending the capabilities of your operating system. It is a useful application for a user to use. So such kind of softwares will be known as application softwares. However, sometimes they are misclassified like there is an example that once a project communicating over the internet was considered an application software. However, the communication between the internet, between two computers over the internet is basically the extension to the operating system. So this should be categorized as a utility. So if we summarize today's module, we have learned software classification and mainly we have talked about application software and utility softwares.